Hey, high level is so confusing. Yeah, I get it. So in this video, I want to talk about how you can master high level quickly and effortlessly. So if you are new to this software high level, you may feel really confusing, right? It's like, oh, there's so many moving parts, there's so many features, there are so many functions. I just don't know what to do. And I feel the same the first two weeks when I used in this software, right? I feel, wow, there's so many things. I feel like quitting. And guess what? As long as I figure out the software, it's so easy to use. It's so easy to use uh, than most of software out there and it can do so many things, right? So if you're using uh, other software like ClickFunnels, the one of the major pain is that uh, you have to integrate with that different software like, like ActiCampaign or like Pipedrive if you are building a sales team, right? But if you are using high level, basically you don't need any other software because uh, it's all inside this platform. They got like autoresponder, they got funnel builder, they got like calendar system, like Calendly or like a pipeline. And, and you also can manage your team and you, you can even manage your team help directly from this platform. So it's so powerful. If you have a team, I highly recommend this software. So if you haven't signed up high level yet, you can go to nixhai.com slash go high level to try this software for free. So if you go to the go high level dashboard, you will notice that there are so many uh, features. There are so many functions there. Uh, they are reporting, they are marketing, they are workflow, they are opportunity. Uh, or there are funnels, there are contacts, so it's so confusing, right? But if you deep dive into this software, you will notice that there are only 10 major features you will ever use. And also, this, you can really categorize them into four different categories. The first category is what we call the website builder, is how you build your look, which including your funnel builder, your website builder, your membership site builder. The second category is your data collector, which including your form builder, your survey builder, your calendar system. And the third category is your CRM, which including your follow-up system, your pipeline, or your campaign, which means you can send out email campaign or things like that, right? And there's one thing that integrates everything together, that is your trigger or workflow. So the way uh, your CRM system and your for, uh, data collector connect together is you want to set out a trigger. But interestingly is that the way you integrate your form, your data collector and your website builder is so you have to embed uh, those um, form into your site, right? So when you are building the form or building a survey or building your calendar, uh, they will give you a code that you can use to insert on those web page. Or if you are building this uh, website or funnel inside high level, you can actually drag and drop and in this software to build your form. So the way you connect your CRM and data collector together is you want to set that trigger. But the way you integrate your data collector and website builder is you want to embed that in. So I will show you how you can quickly uh, build your system uh, inside high level, right? So in order to do that, the first thing you want to do is you want to set up uh, your a campaign first, which is your autoresponding system, right? So you can create a folder here or you can create a campaign. So we can just go to uh, set up campaign. We can say test, right? Then you can add event, right? So you can either send emails or send SMS, right? Then you can just um, send anything here, right? And also you can send out test message here and you can click on save. And also, before you set up everything, you want to choose the uh, user so you can assign a user for this campaign and you can change um, the, the signature uh, based on the setting here. Then you can also choose the, which campaign they are going to after this campaign. Then you can also uh, set out the from address and you can assign a value for to this lead or you can add a tag, right? Then after you set up, uh, you have to really turn it into published. And that's how you can really use this autoresponder. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your form builder. So you go to your marketing, you either go to your form builder or you go to your survey builder, right? So you go to your form builder, then you can create a new form. So then you can drag and drop and to create a form, right? So email or phone number. Right, and you can uh, have a button here, 
right and you can change the style then you can change the name so we can change it to test then you can change it on the action uh, maybe the website they're going to after click click on the submit button then you can click on save form right and also you can integrate this form right so if you are using some software like lead pages or you are want to build um, your uh, list using WordPress you can just get this code and just put those codes on your site then the next thing you want to do is you want to set a trigger right so so you can add a trigger and we also named the test right then save right then you can say hey if someone um, sign up to a form or form submitted right then you can add a filter right so you go to form is then you can choose test then you can set an action then you can say oh you want to add an update opportunity so that's how you can integrate your form with um, your pipeline right so you can choose pipeline maybe sales pipeline things like that so we go to sales pipeline and we go to stage then you can add new actions right so you can say hey we want to add to a campaign and then you can choose the name for this campaign and you can also send out um, maybe some email message right so if you want to remind you are a closer or your team that someone has signed up you have to book a call with them guess what you can ask them to send out the email or you can uh, trick a web cook so there's so many things you can do then you can click on um, uh, you can turn on active and you can click on save then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to either your funnel builder or your website builder and you go to a new funnel then you can uh, create a new one maybe yeah test again right then you can add new step and still test test create funnel step and then you can add it page then you can choose uh, to add a different element add new roles or right? add element and you can go to form right you can choose form and you can right now select your form right so maybe test so that's how you can ins insert a uh, newer uh, form into your funnel builder right or if i using click funnels then you can copy the code then you can embed your uh, uh, form in inside your website right so then you can just preview this page so that's how you can integrate everything together i just make it really easy for you so you understand how everything is linking together now right now they have a new features a uh, code workflow and but i still like trigger more because um, i used to that but it's actually really powerful basically it's you can understand it as a trigger 2.0 so it's a new way for you to connect different features together and that's one thing that i think the reason why a uh, high level is so confusing is because um they have so many duplicated features right so you can see they have funnel builders and they also have website builders so I think it's the same thing, right? But they, they separate the feature. That's the reason why. But if you really deep dive um, this software, it's really easy to use and you can do so many things with that. So that's it for this video. And if you want to try this software for free, be sure to go to nicktide.com slash go high level. Then you can test different features here. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you soon in the next video.